There was a time when resources seemed endless. But in 2030, the Great Energy Crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, Mankind colonized the moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonist was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. Hey guys, I'm back, and I hope you really liked that opening scene. It's just crazy. So I, as you can see, I have played this game a little bit. I did a preview video before. It was just a short video. This game is called Deliver Us the Moon, and I'm just gonna start over. I, yeah, okay, start. Takes a little bit to load. No, I don't think I'll be able to cut out any of this because of my new editing program and I'm not very skilled at it yet. Sorry. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have pledged support for refugees to the the force of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Oof. Space Agency's former MPT ground Wait. station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. Oof. For countries north That's of the terrible. equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. Bettina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm looking at this. A thousand times before during your simulations. We know you can do this. Good luck. <coughs> Sorry. Jeez. <coughs> Sorry. Ground control to Fortuna One, this is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. I already know all the controls. 
Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform oh. and prime the rocket for liftoff. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. Alright, so I'm in a hurry. There she is, the Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If okay. we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Probably should scan that. You guys don't know this, but it'll help me later in game. So it's having me sprint. So will this. I think... I'm not too sure, but I think it just helps me build. Sorry if this is a little loud. If the entire recording is too loud, I'll just turn it down. Okay, well that didn't sound good. I need to fix the elevator. This space station is like fall, or this launch site is like falling apart. Did you guys also hear that the desert's covering 30% of Earth? Did I see That's you're sad. on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. So this is only 40 years into the future. That's pretty sad. It's not like a thousand years or even a hundred years. It's only 40. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Right. Needs a code. Three, five, four, eight. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Neat. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. The desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. Okay. Well... That looks like an elevator of some sort. Okay, guess I need to move this. Huh. And I need to hurry. Which way, which way, which way? This way, this way, this way. Okay, we'll listen to this. Three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come. It's time to join the party. It won't take long. I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You're just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. <coughs> he invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you? If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. Causes of the blackout. Hmm. Wonder what they were celebrating. I'm sorry if it said it in there. Guess I wasn't paying attention if it did say it in there. Also sorry they kind of said like a sort of curse word. I don't think it's a curse word, but it's not a good word. 
Get the rocket ready to launch as fast as possible. Okay. Calculating new storm ETA. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. <coughs> Way faster. Uh -oh. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. So if the dust storm hits before I can launch the rocket, it's gonna destroy it. Uh oh. That didn't work. Sorry guys, I tried to prep the rocket for launch. It didn't seem to work. What's wrong with it? Ooh, it's getting worse out here. Aha, uh -huh. I know what's wrong. Someone didn't turn these on. Fuel. I think. Or maybe it's hydrogen. Might be hydrogen. Jeez, it's getting loud. What? Uh, well, this elevator's here. Maybe there's something down there. Because I don't see anything up here that'd be able to help me. Perfect, just what I need. Need a hurry. Come on. Come on! What? Hello? Get in the elevator. I don't get this. Okay, there we go. Alright, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He just like, he just smacks it. Or my character, I guess, just smacks it. I never, I've never figured out if they are he or she. I should turn off the flashlight. Come on, come on, come on! Aha! Not sure. Seems like fuel. Alright, now I can finally prep the lock rocket. Okay, the hydrogen valves are closed. Hydrogen valves, right? Inside the control center to prime the rocket for launch. Size of fuel. Okay. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything we've worked for. Okay, okay, thank you, lady. I need to hurry. Hurry! Right, I'm running. This dust storm is so bad. This music's so loud, I don't think you guys can even hear me. It's loud for me, anyway. Made it. Well, still have to launch the rocket. Rocket navigation systems right. online. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Ground launch sequencer started. Orbital axis arm retracting. Perfect, just like we've practiced. Okay, perfect. Virtual three 
Okay. Auxiliary power units booting up. Okay. And this one. Get his oxygen vent arm and arm safely in place. And then five. Aha. Sound suppression system engaged. Which one's six? Hydrogen burn off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Ready Sending for ignition. Sending countdown. All right. Rocket boosters ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start. One. We have lift off. the moon base yes <gasps> Ooh. it's kind of dark in here whoa that the earth can't really see there it is there's the dusty blue ball Sound. Did that sound wrong? Hold on. Uh, no, 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 never mind. Years ago. They knew an earth full of life. All we know today is dust. You can see the green. If you can bring green. the MPT network back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Hmm. Yeah. You'll need to find the MPT transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear? We need to head down to the shelter. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be on your own for a while. To reach the station, you must... Must? Once you're in the purple. What? Oh, great. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Alright. Lovely intro. <laughs> That's neat. All right, so I need a dock. Perfect. That's 
I totally don't know how to do that. I've totally been trained in this part. Totally, I've done this thousands of times. Totally know what I'm doing. Totally. This is all done. Totally know what I'm doing. Come on. It's going good. It's going good. Just hope I don't accidentally mess something up. Am I headed in too fast? Might be headed in too fast. Okay, don't be headed. Okay. Well, this has been part one, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. This is probably my new favorite game. <laughs> this is amazing. I am in zero gravity right now. Um, so, yeah. Stick around for part two, which should hopefully be coming soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>